Hey girl and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a natural, no makeup makeup look that's very dewy and hydrating and really great for people with dry skin. So I have very dry skin and my skin loves when I don't put powder on it. So today's look consists of no powder. We aren't setting anything and it's for a very minimal look that can actually be worn every single day and it's actually in my eyes a very natural subtle makeup look and it's not like those no makeup makeup looks that you see on the internet and it's like 25 steps and <laughs> layer upon layer upon layer set this set that add this it's none of that it's for people who have real lives who have real jobs who have real things to do you need to get out the door you don't have time for a hundred steps in the morning and but you still want to look Better than you did when you rolled out of bed, but you don't want to look like a drag queen. Today we are going to be using a new favorite product of mine. So I posted a photo of myself on my Instagram stories where I was using this product and a few glowy, moisturizing, hydrating type of products for like a no makeup look. And I said, hey girl, would y'all want to see how to achieve this look? And everyone DM'd me and was like, absolutely, your skin looks amazing, your skin is flawless, what is on your face? like everyone was freaking out and I thought I kind of looked like a garbage can because it wasn't my like normal full coverage makeup looks that I do post on my Instagram and everyone was freaking out and it's this product girlfriend and that is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Tinted Moisturizer and they actually sent me the entire shade range in like a PR package um, which I'm so thankful for they are so awesome to me and they send me a bunch of stuff whenever they release new products and it's amazing because First Aid Beauty is one of my very favorite brands ever and they are the only brand I use for my skincare and they also have some really great makeup and just some stuff I never would have thought to try that they have been sending to me and that I'm falling in love with and this just launched and praise him that it did. I am not a fan of tinted moisturizers mainly because I just feel like they have zero coverage. They do nothing for my face. They're greasy. I can feel them on my face but I don't see any results and it's like what's the point of wearing one? This is not that to me. Um, I have very dry skin like I've said and I need a lot of moisture, a lot of hydration like even throughout the day. Like by hour four or five of wearing makeup it looks like Crust City on my face and this guy is not like that at all. It feels like a moisturizer because it is. It has a lot of the same properties as their Ultra Repair Cream, which is a moisturizer I use every day. Um, so this is like a mix between a makeup and a moisturizer. So throughout the day, my face still feels like moisturized and hydrated and it's still getting the moisturizer benefits from this while also covering and adding a glow and just like a natural, dewy, healthy look to my skin. It has SPF 30, which is great for people who are in the sun all the time or just people who like to wear SPF every single day. This would also be great for huh, summertime. I was going to do like a test it out, first impressions, wear test kind of video on this product. But since I received it in the mail, I have literally not used anything else on my face. Um, and so like I've fallen in love with it and like doing a test it out video wouldn't work anymore because I know I already love it. And I know it lasts really, really well. I've put it on around what time? 9 in the morning over the weekend and I wore it out that night for a date and we went to eat at 7.45 p.m. and I didn't add more to my face and I still looked like like great. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. I looked great. This stuff builds like you can build it up to be more of like a foundation-y type of look and not just have like that tint to your skin. Are you wearing makeup? Are you not? So that's great. You have both ends of the spectrum with this product. Yes, girlfriend. Today I'm going to just use a little bit of it and for a more natural everyday my skin but better look. But you can absolutely build this up to be like a medium coverage. I believe this will be in store at Sephora in March. And it's sold online now at Sephora and First Aid Beauty. So if you want to see this guy in action and how I achieve my no makeup, dewy, natural, perfect for dry skin, everyday makeup look then just keep on watching. Getting started I'm going to use the Ultra Repair Cream which is the moisturizer by First Aid Beauty that I rave about all the time and if you want to hear like more of my thoughts on all of the First Aid Beauty products and their skincare that I use I do have a blog post all about that. I will link it down below. So I just put this stuff all over my face morning and night and like I've mentioned I have very dry skin 
So this routine might not work for you if you have oily skin. If you have normal skin, it probably will. You might want to set some areas where you tend to get oily, but there is not a part of my face that gets oily. Not one single part. Next, I like to go in with a hydrating, like, cream highlighting moisturizer type deal. Something like the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion or the MAC Strobe Cream. These are both great options that I use all the time. And they are just like a liquid highlight moisturizing cream. I don't know how to explain it other than that. This one is more of like a rose gold. This one is more of like a pearl shade. And so the one I was using in the picture I posted was this one. So I'm going to use that. This is the shade Light Glow. I'm going to turn the exposure down a little bit so you can kind of see these products a little bit better. Okay, next I'm going to take the... Hello Beauty Mango Butter Baton Stick in the shade Champagne. And this is just like a highlighting stick. Looks like this. Ooh. And I'm just going to put this on the high points of my face. So my cheekbones. Down my nose. A little on my forehead. Cupid's bow. A little on the chin. And again, I just blend this out with my fingers for this literal entire makeup look. I don't use any brushes other than like my highlighting brush that I will do later. This is the skin so far without any coverage to it. So next I'm going to take the Tinted Moisturizer. Mine is in the shade Fair. And I use about this much. And I literally put it on with my hands. I kind of rub it in like it's a moisturizer. So I just go like this. And I do some circular motions and some padding to like pat it in. Okay, so this is what my face looks like with just that a little bit amount all over my face. So I'm going to go in with a little bit more and I just pat it in where I need more coverage. So I actually use it a little bit under my eyes as a concealer. And then I have a little bit of weirdness happening on my chin where I'll add a little bit more. But as you can see, it gives you like a very natural glow from within. Healthy look to your skin and I love it. And it's so moisturizing, like I said. Um, so it kind of feels a little bit, like, damp. Um, if you don't set it, which I'm not going to today. So if that's not your thing, just use, like, a sheer, very finely milled translucent powder in the areas where you really need to set it. Um, which I do do that sometimes. But recently, I've just been not setting it at all. Just for the sake of letting my skin breathe a little bit. And just to make sure everything is blended into my skin, I'm just going to use a beauty sponge and kind of just bounce it all over everything just to make sure it's all blended in. This is the Sonia Kashuk sponge, which I had never even heard of. I just was watching a video and someone was using it, so I went and got it. It's gigantic, and it's only $7, and they sell like, I think it's either 4 or 5 together for $15. Uh, and it, to me, it feels exactly like the Beauty Blender. Go in with a little bit of concealer, and I use the Tarte Shape Tape. And for days where I want it to look like just natural, no makeup makeup, I don't take the concealer out everywhere and do that crazy triangle thing. Because let's be honest, no one actually needs that much concealer. It just makes me feel better about my face. But uh, I literally, I just keep it very close to this, like the very inner corner of my eye where all the darkness really is. And I will... Either blend it off my fingers or the sponge. Today I'm going to use the sponge. Okay, so I just used the shade Light Neutral. And I just went in with a little bit of light. Just to add a little bit of brightness under there. And I'm just going to blend that in. And that's where I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to add any more coverage. So you can kind of still see a little bit of my darkness. But like, that's normal. Like, no one's face is perfect. And no one's face... I don't know. I think that's okay to see. Because that's just life. And then I'm going to go in with another highlighter. <laughs> Don't worry, there's one more after this. This is the Wet n Wild Hello Halo Liquid Highlight and the shade Halo Goodbye. So mine is like a pinky color. And I'm just going to put this all over <laughs> my face. So again, on my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, above my lip. Then I'm just going to blend that in with the sponge again. So bronze up the face a little bit and kind of contour, but not really. 
I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Stick in the shade Coconut, which is the darker foundation. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the sponge and place a tiny bit where my cheekbones are. And I don't go in straight with the stick. I've mentioned that before in one of my videos. I just feel like it leaves a stripe and I can't blend it out. And then for blush, I don't go in with the powder. As you can see, this is a very reoccurring theme. There's no powder. Um, this is a liquid color for your cheeks, for your cheeks and your lips by Benefit, the Benetint. And this is like the rosy one. So I just put this on the apples of my cheeks and you kind of have to work fast. And I tap it in with my fingers first and then I blend it out with a sponge. Okay, the skin is pretty much done and I would sometimes just leave it like this, but... Sorry, there's a hair in my mouth. I'm kind of crazy, and I feel like there's never a thing that's too much highlight. And if you're not wearing a lot of makeup, but you're wearing a lot of highlight, and like you spray your face with Mac Fix Plus and let it kind of sink into your skin, people are gonna be like, oh, girl, look at that, look at that skin, is that your face? And like, I don't know, is it just my face? Or is it 14 layers of highlight? So the one I've been loving lately is the Elf and Heart collab, the Coffees and Cream Duo. And I just use the lighter shade when I'm not wearing a ton of makeup because the darker one's a little too dark for my skin. And I just put this on top of where we already, really? where we already highlighted. And we are now just going to spray your face with Fix Plus and melt this all into your face to make it look even more like your skin but better. And then if it freaks you out that you're like not setting your face, but if you're really dry, you'll feel me on the whole powder thing not being your best friend. But if it freaks you out, and just to like increase the longevity, I also go in with a setting spray. And this is the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. This is the bridal version, but like any <laughs> setting spray works. So on days when I just do my face like this, I don't wear like a ton of eye makeup. I just wear mascara. Sometimes I'll put like a shimmery color on my lids. Sometimes I'll like fill in my lash line with like a dark brown shadow but I definitely won't do eyeliner and false eyelashes don't happen in my life so that would not happen um but I'll just put on like a highlighted shade on my inner corner and like on my brow bone and just do mascara and a little bit of brow gel on my eyebrows a lip gloss and then we're set so I'm just going to highlight my inner corners with the same highlight the same highlighting powder that we just put on our face using the lighter shade and I just use my finger and I just dab it on the inner corner for mascara, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar X Fiber. And it's like a two-stepper, and this is like the only two-step mascara that I actually like. Because I know what you're thinking. I thought this was supposed to be easy and hassle-free with like no steps. Uh, yes, but this is the only mascara I have right now. Sometimes I just use side one, and I forget about side two, because it's a little bit easier that way. But if I have the time, I will do both sides. And for brows, I use the Maybelline Brow Volumizer, which is just like a gel, and it actually has fibers in it. So it kind of thickens my eyebrows without having to fill them in with like a powder or a pencil. And I really love this stuff. And on days when I do fill in my eyebrows, I just add this as like a gel to set them and make them thicker. But when I don't, and I just use this alone, I just put a little bit more on than I usually would. And it like totally thickens them up and fills them in for you. And... It gives you that like wispy, thick, runway brow, you know what I'm talking about? And I like that look a lot. It's kind of like a glossier or a um, milk makeup kind of look. And for lips, I just use a lip gloss. I just throw it on and I'm like super haphazard about it because that's this makeup look. It's just easy, on the go, throw it on. It's the Vintage Lip Gloss by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's just a very pigmented, opaque pink. I just literally throw it on. I don't line my lips. I don't put lipstick underneath it. It's just something that's easy. I can throw in my purse and keep adding to my lips throughout the day without them getting weird and heavy and cakey and crunchy and disgusting. So. And I just put a little bit more of the powder highlight on the center of my lips. Just to add to that glowy look of the entire makeup look. And this is it. This is my no makeup makeup 
what I do when I don't feel like wearing full coverage, don't feel like setting everything with powder, I don't want to do layers of this and that. And you could definitely skip like half the highlighters I put on, that's just something I do because I want to look as glowy as possible to mask the fact that I'm not wearing like full coverage and that my under eye circles aren't completely covered and things of that nature. So yes, girlfriend, this is the completed look. This is my no makeup makeup for the days where you just don't want to do the most. Am I right? Most days for me. I literally don't wear makeup Monday through Friday. I know it's hard to believe, but uh, I just don't. Can't be bothered with it. This product by First Day Beauty has like literally changed my life in regards to that aspect because I can just like slap it on with my hands like a moisturizer and I still get coverage and feel good about my face and my skin and yeah and it photographs really well like that photo I put on my Instagram that was just standing in front of a window with my iPhone and my skin looks completely like diffused and like just perfected which is great and I think that all tinted moisturizers should do that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and that you learned something and hopefully you fall in love with some of these products like I have. Thanks again and I will see you in my next video. Bye!